guys, we just got so much more leaks on the Murder Mystery 2 Halloween 2024 event. This includes so much more items, some new potential toys, another part of the new ancient act, as well as the first look on what the Halloween NPC might look like. So yeah, guys, leaks are going rampant right now. We are getting so much Murder Mystery 2 leaks. We just got some leaks just the other day, and now we have so much more leaks, even though we all thought that we wouldn't get any more MM2 leaks after the first set of leaks we got just the other day. Leaks are still patched, I'm pretty sure, but there was another leaker that was grabbing MM2 leaked before the leaks actually got patched, and they had so much more news and information than the other leakers did, and they gave me a lot of information to talk about in my newest video. Oh, and of course, if you guys do not want to see any leaks, now is your chance to back out of the video now. Let's start off a little bit differently this time, and let's talk about some new potential toys or some new potential something. I, I, I don't really know what these are, but as you can see on screen, there are some very strange items that we will be seeing in the MM2 Halloween event. I'm going to assume these are toys. These are made by I don't have a use, so it is basically confirmed that these are going to be new items in the Halloween event, and not just decoration for, like, the map or lobby, because Xylik is the one that makes the maps and lobbies. I don't have a use is the one that makes the items, so these shouldn't be for, like, the map, and they should be, like, actual items that we can collect, I would assume. I guess we're gonna have to wait and see, but as you can see, there's some weird, like, chain lantern thing, a gravestone, as well as a book with a different opening up model. So, I do think that these are potentially some brand new toys. Maybe we'll be able to have, like, a chain toy where we'll be able to hold a chain and just walk around with it, I guess. And as well as a new book that we're able to collect as a toy, and maybe if you click it, it'll open. I feel like that would be kind of cool. Maybe there'll even be an animation of us reading the book. I feel like that would be really cool. And I do think that's what the Murder Mystery 2 team is gonna do. And I think these are really cool toys if these are actually toys. Because I think, uh, like, a scary book for the MM2 Halloween event being a toy, I feel like that's such a cool concept because I feel like toys are pretty underrated in Murder Mystery 2 and often undervalued by the MM2 community. Like, there's so many cool MM2 toys that everyone loves. Like, for example, this pumpkin toy is starting to become a fan favorite toy in the MM2 community. This is one of the Halloween toys from last year, and if you click it, you can carve a pumpkin face out of it and drop it on the floor. Everyone loves this toy. Like, anyone that played the MM2 Halloween 2023 event knows how cool of a toy this is. It's probably one of the top favorite toys in the MM2 community nowadays. As well as stuff like the candy toys as well. A lot of people love these candy toys. So it's really cool that we're probably going to be getting some new original toy designs in the update. I do hope people like these toys. If, if these are actually toys. Like, it's hard to say if these are toys or not. Like, maybe the gravestone is like a pet. Maybe we'll just have like a dead pet. <laughs> I don't know. But I guess we'll have to wait and see what happens with these models once the update comes out. But now let's go over a ton of brand new weapons that just got leaked. As you can see, two new guns got leaked as well as a bunch of new knives. At the time of recording this, I don't know what the names of these are. I think I can find it though, so. When I'm editing this, um, maybe I'll show the names of these on screen. If I'm not lazy, I guess we'll have to wait and see, but. Firstly, we can see like this like spooky, like ghostly purplish black gun, which sort of reminds me a lot of the Wraith Fire effect from 2021. I feel like if you have like something like Elderwood Blade or something or Elderwood Scythe, or, and if you have like Wraith Fire or Void, like I feel like this gun would go perfectly with it. Then we have this set of like a green, like wooden knife. Like I don't really know what these are, but these are a set of items right here. This gun and this knife. A lot of people think that these are going to be the legendaries in the update. Like one of these will be a box legendary and one of these will be a battle pass legendary, which does sound likely. I don't know if that Kraken knife is going to be legendary. It didn't look like it could be. But maybe that's just a rare. Or maybe there'll be a lot of legendaries in this update and there'll be like a new way to collect items that aren't from the box or battle pass. I mean, Nicholas did say bigger updates are coming, so maybe there's going to be a new way to get items. We're not so sure, but we're going to have to see. Here are this teeth knife, which looks very scary. I do like this one. As well as this, like, blue fire, like, I think, like, electricity knife, which looks awesome. I feel like this is a pretty high chance to be, like, a rare knife or an uncommon knife. I don't think this will be legendary, but I think rare or uncommon would fit this knife pretty well. Next, we have a candle knife, which looks really cool. I think we've actually seen a candle knife in MM2 before. Not candle flame, but, like, as, like, a default item, I think we've seen one, but this will probably just be a common knife, I would guess. Then we have this moon knife that shows, like, different cycles of the moon. Probably gonna be an uncommon. Then this ghost knife. It's like purple knife with little ghost pictures all around it. This could be like a pretty cool uncommon or rare. As well as a candy corn and a bat's knife, which will be a good set with the candy corn and bat's gun that we saw in the previous video. Yeah, it looks like we're gonna be getting a lot of items in this MM2 Halloween update. I'm getting pretty excited. And hopefully we get even more Halloween items than just the items that we've gotten leaked. I mean, we still don't have like a godly leak yet at the time of making this video. And again, I don't know if we will because leaks are in a pretty strange spot right now. So there probably 
are going to be a lot more items instead of just the items I've shown off in the past two videos. So make sure to stay tuned for that. Hopefully we get a lot more cool stuff. But as you guys know, in the previous video, we got a brand new ancient axe leaked. But apparently there's another version of this axe that was also leaked. I don't really know what this is for exactly. But as you can see, here is another version of the axe. It's the same model, but it's like a black and red version of it. Which I don't know what this is for. You guys are free to make like your own predictions in the comments section. Maybe this will be something similar to the turkey knife where it starts off normal. But once you kill someone, it could like turn into a different version. I feel like that would be cool. Like maybe this could be like the first FX knife in Murder Mystery 2. Where it has different forms and maybe there could even be like a different animation with it. I guess with that logic, turkey should be an FX item, but I don't know. Maybe this is just an old version of the axe texture. Like it's really hard to guess on what this is exactly for. So please let me know in the comment section, why do you think there's two versions of this app? There's a lot of different theories of why there could be two versions. So I would really like to hear your guys' thoughts and maybe I'll heart some comments that have pretty good theories. Something else just got leaked and it is a new effect. Now this effect is kind of weird. It's like red triangles like flying off. I don't know if this is going to be the next knife effect or if it's going to be like a random effect off like the next NPC or something. I didn't make a test on if this effect is a knife effect. Like I put this effect on a knife and I guess it looks all right. I mean, I'm not so sure if this effect is meant for knives or not. So let me know in the comments. Is this an actual effect or not? I don't know. But lastly, a new MM2 shirt just got leaked. And this is probably going to be the shirt that the next NPC wears in the update. Because as you guys know, in most MM2 updates, usually every single Halloween update, we get a new NPC character. Like just a dude that's just standing in the lobby and like offers you new items and stuff. Kind of like how the John Beach NPC in the summer update. This guy's just chilling and the, he lets you open the event and stuff. It'll probably be something similar to this guy as well like the traveler from last year and the survivor zombie king reaver like guys like those where they just like stand there in the lobby and offer you items all we have is a shirt that was leaked though like we don't have any pants we don't know what hats this guy is gonna be wearing we do have a pretty good idea that this might be a vampire npc judging from the stickers knife and stickers gun it sort of like hints at a new vampire character with like white hair with like red fangs like so maybe we'll get like a new like white hair hat to that I don't have a use mix. I'm not so sure. But guys, I'm gonna say what I said in the last video, and I don't know if we will get any more leaks after this. The only reason we have even more leaks is because there was another leaker that also grabbed stuff before leaks got patched. Um, at least I would assume so. I asked the leaker how they got this. I haven't got a response at the time of recording this. Cause I'm pretty sure I checked, and uh, these items were made back in September. So it's not like these are brand new leaks. Like these leaks have been around, but the leakers are just now showing them off to everybody. But yeah, guys, that is currently all the leaks that we have currently. So please let me know your thoughts about all these leaks in the comment section. Hopefully we can see what the new god leads and effects are gonna be, but I guess we're gonna have to see if there's like even more leakers that found more stuff before leaks got patched. I don't know. These could be the final leaks we get, but you know, maybe leakers will find a bypass to the leaking patch and we'll find more ways to get leaks and stuff. I don't know. This is all so confusing, but I am extremely hyped for this update and a lot of people are thinking that maybe the Halloween update will release early because we're getting a lot of leaks pretty early which I don't know if that's gonna be the case last Christmas we got a bunch of leaks early like back in November we got Christmas leaks like a month before the Christmas update actually came out at like the 20th or 21st or something so since that update didn't release early I don't know if this one will we do know that Nicholas is probably working on a new game mode in the update and that'll probably take weeks to script like game mode just take a long time to make so just because the items might be done doesn't mean the rest of the update will be done. You guys know what I'm saying? But yeah, guys, more Halloween videos, shorts, and live streams coming soon. I got a bunch of Halloween content talking about the update before it comes out. As well as after the update comes out, I'll be making a lot of videos talking about the update once we can all play it, you know? But that's about it to this video, so I'm gonna end this off here. So until next time, goodbye!